Well, in school news, Middle Georgia State University invested in several campus updates. It's already paying off with a 20% higher application rate for the fall semester compared to this time last year. 41 NBC's Ariel Schiller visited the campus in Macon to find out more about those updates and why students are picking the university. Middle Georgia State University's Macon campus is right off I-475, and thanks to new signage, you can't miss it. According to David Sims, Associate Vice President of Facilities for the University, that's kind of the point. We have over 22 million vehicles going up and down I-475 every year, and now our name is visible to those 22 million vehicles. In addition to new signage, the university updated campus roadways to be more pedestrian friendly, and they opened the Peyton Anderson Enrollment Center. Sim says the center helps potential students learn more about career opportunities, programs it offers, and more. We're here to provide services to our students to help them get enrolled, make it easy for them to understand how to register for classes and fill out their financial aid. Jenna Langley is a freshman at MGA. She came from a small town called Bremen, Georgia. Langley decided to attend MGA because she received a volleyball scholarship and she liked the education program. When I was touring, there was a senior on the volleyball team and she's, she was in the education program and she told me that this is one of the best in the state, so I was really excited about that. Langley says when she visited the university, the new entrance and enrollment center wasn't complete. She hopes the improvements will encourage more people to choose MGA. Her advice to anyone considering MGA, be open to anything. There's student leadership, there's a lot of clubs and programs to get involved in just to be involved and to take opportunity of all these new improvements and all these new opportunities. In Macon, Ariel Schiller, 41 NBC News. And the university says it's the most affordable university in the state and it now offers a doctorate program in information technology.